Now we come back to the Fukushima, um, the boiling water reactor. The boiling reactor, the boiling water reactor, um, I mean, is, uh, is it has the advantage of being simple. It does not have a lot of tubing, does not have a lot of, um, um, does not have a lot of uh, uh, components. But equally important, these pumps, these pumps, all pumps all over, they are, they are I mean, particularly this one, uh, takes the, 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 this, um, the, um, um, the water and then circulates it all around it to keep the, the, the core, uh, the, the, keep the core field. These reactors, all, these reactors are run at, the, uh, at about the temperature about 300 C. And um, the other advantage of this type of reactor is uh, because the pressure is much lower than the pressurized water reactor, and therefore you don't need uh, the, the thickness of the, of the vault is only one half of those of the pressurized water reactor. And then, of course, I mean, we, when you use a much smaller vessel, it's much easier to make it. Uh, but of course, the disadvantage is the, the radioactive steam directly is coming directly from the reactor. And then uh, it, the, this part of the turbine is uh, contaminated. And uh, when you want to change it, then it involves uh, um, the treatment of radioactive waste. Um, I mean, more or less, okay, I'll, I'll keep on talking about this later. Now, this, um, the actual reactor looks like this, and this is what we are facing in the, um, in the uh, Fu Fukushima um, um, uh, fiasco. Now, the, this is the reactor here, okay? This is the reactor, uh, this, this is site one. And these are the spent fuel bays inside the reactor, I mean inside the uh, reactor building. And uh, this here is the, is the, uh, the, the uh, containment vault. That's to say this, this is uh, a, a vault with uh, four to eight feet concrete, uh, reinforced concrete. So it's, very, it's a very um, sturdy structure. Um, I mean, this is all steel, of course. And um, so, um, oh, okay, this part here is uh, also where uh, some of the explosions start. Uh, is the uh, the part where they they dump the steam uh, in case the the reactor gets. Uh, oh, I mean, the pressure in the reactor builds up so much that uh, it stops the boiling, and then they have to dump off the steam in here, uh, in a, in a bottle in a uh, tub in a uh, pool of water. But uh, and then yeah, this will be uh, talked about again later. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to, um, next I'm going to talk about inside, what is inside here, inside the reactor. Inside the reactor, this is the core of the reactor, where the uranium fuel or the plutonium fuel is. These are the fuel, these are the fuel rods, the fuel assemblies, you can see. And this is the control, um, the control, um, the control rod. That is to use to control the uh, power of the reactor, whether you on, off, or, sh or, or, or adjust it. And um, here, this assembly here is to dry the steam, and then this is a steam outlet. And all this here, um, the, for example, all these nozzles here, they are uh, where you feed the, the, feed the water in uh, from various places. And... Um, um, Okay, so the cooling is essentially coming from, uh, I mean, to the reactor is, uh, is mainly uh, to, in order to cool this part here. Now, and then I'm going to concentrate, next I'm going to concentrate on this part to here and blow it up to, see, to, to let you see what is there. These are the fuel, these are the fuel assembly. Um, each one of these uh, contains the uranium fuel in this sense. The, this is... Uh, what you see in here is the fuel assembly. The fuel assembly uh, actually is made up of a bunch of fuel pencils. These fuel pencils, each of them is like this, and each of them is, has the, uh, the thickness, uh, it has the, uh, the radius of more or less like a big pencil, that, uh, big pencil that's all. And uh, this is where uh, the, 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 
um, one of the biggest, um, I mean, you've got to understand this in order to understand the problem that we are facing with uh, this boiling water reactor at uh, Fukushima. This, the, this is NK, I mean, the fuel, uh, a pellet, uh, this is um, uh, one half inch size. You can see it's, uh, it's very small. Um, you can hold it in your hand, uh, a number of them, a number of them. And uh, these pellets are made of uranium oxide. And uranium oxide is a ceramic. And, uh, the, and, and, and this goes, can go up to very high temperature, uh, can all go, go all up to uh, 1,800 or, or, or even above uh, without uh, affecting it, not without uh, uh, destroying the in integrity of it. So these things are, are buried, uh, are, I mean, are encased in a zirconium um, uh, uh, cladding, so-called fuel cladding. And why do we have to use zirconium? Zirconium is not the best metal to use, in fact. And this is to say, the, the zirconium is the, uh, the, the, um, um, the kind of metal that is most transparent to neutrons. That's to say, it does not interact with neutrons. And therefore, it does not absorb neutrons, and therefore, we achieve the economy of neutrons. And uh, because of that, uh, that is used widely in all kinds of reactors and to, uh, to, uh, to contain all these fuels. But the problem of this, uh, okay, I'll, I'll go to the next. Of course, this here uh, is a fuel, is a control rod, which is raised up and is made, use, uh, made up of mostly boron. And boron absorbs all the, is opposite to, uh, is opposite to zirconium. It absorbs all the neutrons. And that the boron is what you hear is this uh, boric acid or pang xun, okay? It is used to, uh, to absorb the neutrons so that it stops the, um, the, uh, the chain reaction. The, the fission uh, is, is stopped if you, if you raise this. So um, now, what you see here, this casing here is in fact the casing, this type of thing. All right? This kind of thing over 900 degrees C, it starts to oxidize very badly, almost burn. And uh, you can see all, all these things here. And, the, and this chemical reaction is just zirconium plus water um, equals to uh, zirconium oxide plus hydrogen. All right? So this is, this reaction is almost like uh, making coal gas. Okay? Making coal gas. This is uh, more or less like um, tea in hay, a natural gas. And um, so with this, you generate two things. You have two very bad things happening. The first thing is that the, uh, the, ca the, 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 this cladding or the casing of the fuel gets compromised and uh, you get the fuel pencil fails and then the core and creates the core damage. And the second thing is that this hydrogen, when it accumulates, it is explosive. And explosive, and it, it, con it, it, uh, it uh, creates uh, the, the containment breaching. And with um, these two uh, together, then you create a disaster. Okay? But this is all, uh, this type of thing becomes known uh, during, the, 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 during the Three Mile Island problem, where the core uh, damage or common in, in the common way of uh, I mean common language of saying it is uh, like core meltdown. It's uh, the core damage is uh, is coming from this kind of thing in Three Mile Island um, in the U.S. So uh, well, this is the hydrogen explosion which is coming from um, uh, number three, which is what we are we were we have been talking about. Now, the next thing is that this, except for the high, for this hydrogen, there is another, another, um, um, uh, I mean, another twist to, to the problem is that the shell of this the, the shell of this uh, reactor is um, is because it's used to to stand only um, boiling water and it's not very it cannot stand a very high pressure. So, and for safety reasons, 
It also it, it would have a safety valve that allows the steam to escape from, from, from this uh, reactor vessel when, the, when it builds up, when the, uh, the, the steam builds up. And well, what happens is, is that when the steam exerts a certain pressure, then it would uh, vent it out into this, water, this, this uh, pool of water, which is called a wet well. And uh, in here, the steam, of course, re becomes, uh, the, the pressure of the steam is, is reduced. But at the same time, if you have got partial um, core damage, then they, this place will be f also filled with hydrogen. And the hydrogen will come out with the steam, and uh, this, it will come out with the steam and being vented out into the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the uh, reactor building some, somewhere here, and, and mostly collect in this part of the, in this part of the building uh, at first. And this is where you see the explosion takes place uh, with all this. Um, this actually, yeah, this is actually this part here is where this, uh, this second, secondary containment where the uh, hydrogen explosion takes place and then you can see all these things being uh, blown away, being blown mm -hmm. away. So then this, this is also why you see the radioactivity and these steams, they come out in occasional, I mean, they came out in spurts, come out in, in a peak, and then after a few hours, it come out with another peak, it's come out in this kind of pattern, is because of uh, this, 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 this kind of mechanism. <clears throat> yeah, and, and, and this is where all this, uh, this steam is, uh, is, is coming up, um, well, because it's, uh, a lot of it is let off uh, by the mechanism itself. Now, this is a three-mile island, and um, the, uh, the, the uh, end-state configuration. Um, and what has happened in this case here, this is already uh, passed, I mean, 20 years ago. And uh, you can see it, all this in, in that case, the, the, the core damage occurs and the fuel rod has molten into a, uh, a, a, um, uh, a, a, well, a, um, something like, a, a, they call it corium. It's something like a, 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 bun, a, a patch of um, uh, frozen metal, in, in, I mean, uh, of uh, molten metal in here. And, but the problem is that this thing is extremely corrosive and extremely um, bad because it's, uh, it, ex it, it has exceeded the uh, effective, the, um, the um, critical mass. And then the, um, when it exceeds the critical mass, um, this, uh, um, the fission reaction keeps on, becomes uh, reactivated again. And then you have got a lot, lot of heat uh, being produced and a lot of neutrons being produced, and uh, it's um, if the if the shell is not good enough, it penetrates it and drop into the earth and uh, and creates what's called uh, the China syndrome. And in fact, I mean this is Chernobyl. Chernobyl core. This is the this is the uh, the, the, the 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 crazy thing that you see is the core becomes this this uh, messy stuff in here. And, uh, well, I mean, this is the kind of potential that we see with uh, Fukushima. It's, it's possible. This is not the only problem. Uh, this is not the only problem that we see. It happened that the spent fuel, the, the, the next one is the spent fuel management. Now, we know that the spent fuel removed from a nuclear reactor is highly radioactive because of, uh, I just mentioned in the beginning, that it contains a lot of the in unstable elements and, uh, and generate intense heat. And this intense heat comes from the, um, from the, um, uh, the, the decaying process, uh, from the generation of all these particles, alpha, beta, gamma, and, and, and heat, heat the whole thing up. So to treat this kind of thing is, um, is, is very difficult. You cannot even touch it. I mean, I don't mean get near it. No, not touch it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you cannot even get near it. 
I mean, you can see uh, today that even the fire trucks and whatnot, they, they can only fire water cannons to it and um, helicopters dropping things far away. Uh, so these things, uh, I mean, when it come, first come out of the reactor, it has to be put in a pool uh, to be cooled. And this pool is called the, 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 spent, fuel, um, the spent fuel pool. Okay? And that spent fuel pool uh, is meant for temporary uh, storage. In the, case of the, in the case of Germany, Canada, uh, after a few months, this is taken out and, 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 and uh, buried into a big concrete uh, canister and uh, put on a fuel and then um, allow the wind and the, uh, I mean, further cool it down. But in Japan, uh, they don't do it this way. And also, United States also, they, they, they try to take a shortcut. They say, why, well, why do we need to put in concrete, canister, uh, concrete canisters? They still put it, back in the react, uh, put it back in these pools. These pools also act as pretty big uh, so the, 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 um, uh, storage space. In fact, I mean, at the, at, uh, the, uh, the one at um, Unit 4 contains over 500 fuel assemblies right now, and which is uh, a pretty, pretty dangerous thing to do. Uh, that is why we have got uh, so much heat generated. And when you see these pools, ah, uh, no. So that is, yeah, you will see the pools later on. Uh, the, 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 where the pools are put in this reactor, or the, the, um, from nearby, is here and here. These are the so-called so spent uh, fuel pools. Now, it's right near the reactor, and uh, if anything um, happened to the, uh, it, it, it all go, if anything happens to this, it would also affect the whole reactor building and whole reactor structure. It's very, it's a, it's a very uh, risky thing to do, but they did it. <coughs> and so far, um, although this reactor is, uh, is licensed for, 30, for 25 years, it's been operating for 40 years already. And well, I, again, this can, you cannot explain why this happened. But this is what happened. And uh, they, bet, they are betting that it will still go happy on and on until one day they find nature is, going, is coming back to them. And uh, the bet is, uh, is off the table now. So uh, the typical pool uh, of a spent fuel pool is like this. It's, uh, the, the, what is bottom here is where they put this fuel, the, the, these fuel rods. The fuel rods themselves are 18 feet, about 18 feet long, this. And on top of this, there's about uh, another uh, 20 feet of water. Something, all together is something like 45 feet deep uh, pool of water in there. So in order to boil off or, or to, um, to get rid of all that water is uh, not so easy. But also it is telling you how much, for the design is also telling you how much heat is uh, generating from these things. And, and this water has to be keep on circulating. You cannot, it's not steady, it's not stable. Now when the reactor, when this, uh, the, the, the tsunami hits, uh, all the pumps, all the electricity is gone. So all power is gone. So this cooling is also gone. When the cool cooling is gone, naturally all this heats up. You have another reactor there. Now that reactor is much, much worse than the one we saw. This reactor in here do not have any protection. There's no containment vault. So, uh, and what is even worse is that this part here is all blown off. So what you have here is just some, some uh, swimming, swimming pool on top of some very nice uh, apartments, almost like that, all open up to the sky. So, now, in here, what is, what, what is like, I mean, what can happen is that if the water is drained or boiled off or, I mean, some structural, uh, some structural damage to these pools and leaked away. By the way, these are, are 
not only concrete, it's, uh, the, 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 it's lined by steel. So uh, it's not so easy to be completely demolished, but well, it apparently uh, it is something has happened. Um, so the, in this case here, in, in, uh, when the water is gone, what happened is that the, uh, the fuel rod is exposed and the fuel rod gets heated, heated to thousand something degrees. And that would, uh, uh, I mean, the, the, the zirconium will, will oxidize. And, and if it is so hot, I mean, the oxidation can be very quick. And the zirconium is a very nasty metal. And in our old lab, when we deal with uh, this zirconium, mach machining zirconium, we have to be very careful not to allow the, uh, the, these filings. Because filings can catch fire, I mean, simultaneously. I mean, uh, um, spontaneously, the oxidation can can catch can give you fire, and these metal fires <coughs> are very difficult to control. I mean, just imagine the expo when you are doing your 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 um, I mean the uh, the uh, magnesium uh, light. I mean the magnesium light, like what they are doing. The flash, magnesium flash. The kind of explosion is what what is coming from this kind of thing. It is like what is going to come from this kind of thing, and that means explosion. Explosion inside a reactor, which is completely uncontained, is as bad as you can think, and that is why internationally, the bad, the most concern now is actually in this thing, and not in only in this thing. Is the implication now? Uh, with this Japanese incident of all the set, similar setups of this, cool, uh, this cooling, um, uh, this, this, spent, this kind of setup uh, with the spent fuel arrangement. And um, so in, in, in this case here, and, and this is why the Japanese Prime Minister is um, honestly making an estimation of what is the worst scenario if these things explode. When it explodes, the whole thing will just straight go into the uh, uh, high atmosphere and then it spreads uh, to a, a large area and it goes into the river, the streams, into the underground water and spreads a large area. And that's why all eastern Japan will be not fit for human uh, inhab uh, in, uh, I mean, in, in hab I mean, inhabitation. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so essentially this is another picture of the uh, this pen view underneath. It's a more artistic picture. That's all. And uh, someone I, I read in the uh, the um, um, someone is uh, is is saying making this comment. I I forgot the name. I mean this is worse than a meltdown. Okay, it's worse than worse than Three Mile Island. Oh, by, by the way, Three Mile Island is, uh, uh, is five out of seven uh, in terms of the grading of the uh, reactor accidents. And uh, it's no, it's no uh, surprise that the French and the Russians uh, are ranking this as a number six instead of... And you have got four number six, four reactors, not one Chernobyl. So uh, the reactor inside is inside thick walls, but the spent fuel is out in the open. So this is why everyone is so concerned about the situation. Is so um, is praying that all these water cannon, uh, water cannons, and 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 and, and helicopter bombs uh, works to at least maintain the uh, the water level to cover the fuel. I mean, it, apparently, um, if there is a leak or if it keeps on boiling off, um, I mean, you would hope to get it to a steady state by, I mean, whatever you dump in equals to whatever that, that, that is evaporated or, or what, what leaks out. And, and you have to keep on doing this for a few months until the whole thing um, becomes manageable. Then you can, uh, people can get in and, uh, and do something about it. So, uh, well, this is what you see, and uh, in, in, in reactor number four, um, it's the uh, and this 
somehow, I don't know whether uh, what is reported is correct or not, but it, apparently what they reported, this originally it has uh, the number four has no fuel. It is a reactor which is already, uh, uh, is already shut down in January. All the fuel is taken out of the reactor already and put in the spent fuel pool. Now, all the, these, these reactors, uh, all these fuels, although it's in spent fuel pool, um, um, it happened that the pump, I mean, it, 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 uh, what, is, what the story they gave is that there is a pump and the pump is leaking oil and the oil, um, I mean, somehow catches fire and with the, together with the hydrogen which is accumulated, it blows the, uh, uh, it blows the top off. And uh, what you see is something like this. That is their story. But uh, I just repeat their story. I mean, whether this is exactly like this, I don't know. Okay? And uh, actually, this story is, um, is um, uh, reported, is, well, re reported by this guy, which is uh, Gregory, Jack Jack, uh, Gregory Jekyll, uh, of the chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission of uh, the US. And he is testifying on, on, uh, to the Senate uh, Joint Committee. And uh, he says that all water is gone in one of the spent fuel uh, pools at Japan's most troubled nuclear plant. But of course, the Japanese uh, didn't deny it. So what they, they, and of course, after this, the Americans, they have, uh, um, they have uh, started to, uh, to take back, I mean, to, um, uh, to, advise, to put on the, the, the advisory that no one within a, a, a radius of 50 uh, kilometers or miles, must be miles, I think for the US, for the US they use miles, um, needs to be, to, uh, can go in there. So, um, and, and of course now, uh, the British and the Americans, they all started to, uh, to ship their, um, their people back, uh, back home. Um, what is lucky of all this thing is, um, I mean, this is a, a, a modeling, but of course, at least this part here is, uh, is verified. Is the, uh, this is the radioactivity. Uh, which is uh, will be will be spreading according to the wind and and and, and weather forecast of uh, the the, the um, and it is going opposite to the direction. Hong Kong is round here, down there. <laughs> China, Russia, I mean, uh, uh, and 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 uh, is down there. So it's moving towards the the the, the friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But of course, uh, the, once you, it, it gets to spread over that big area, the, it's much diffused. And uh, the, the, the concentration of the radioactive fallout will, will, will not be uh, so important uh, at the, by the time they reach the state. And that's why Obama comes out this morning to say, um, don't be afraid, we have no problem. <laughs> so uh, let me sum uh, summarize. Um, our concern, I mean not our concerns, the concerns are, are, are two. Number one is the structural integrity of the, of the pressure vessel, the containment vault and the spent fuel pools. This is the structural in integrity. And number two is the cooling of the, whether we can maintain the cooling of the fuel rods in the reactor and in the spent uh, the, the, uh, the, the fuel pool. And, uh, Fortunately, although they do not like very much to, to or, or maybe they really cannot, cannot tell us anything about those, but the symptoms, whether this is good or bad, all lies in the, uh, the, in the radioactivity of the releases. And for the last 20 odd hours, it, it, is, it has been stable. And that's why internationally um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's stable and the stock markets are not going crazy. And uh, so w what can be done uh, in the next while is uh, the, f the utmost important thing is to keep the fuel, the fuel rods cool by whatever means um, and uh, to, pre to prevent the chain reaction by soaking the neutrons up by putting in boron and uh, boron exit. And, and then you have to pray that the structural integrity is not compromised by the explosions and the wind does not change direction. <laughs> And if everything, if everything fails, 
I mean, there's still uh, left for the, the uh, how um, Chernobyl was treated and Tongmen. It's just to turn to pour a mountain of uh, uh, concrete uh, over it and bury it for, well, for many years. <coughs> so homework. <laughs> I hope you can write an essay on, can we blame everything on Mother Nature? <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>